What's up everybody and welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we are going to be doing some starter deck duels. I'm still very new to Magic the Gathering in general. I've been playing for the last maybe two to three weeks. And I've also been playing with starter decks in real life with my wife. We've both been new, learning the mechanics and everything. And on, honestly, Magic the Gathering Arena has been super beneficial with just getting started. So today we're gonna be trying one of the decks. If you are new to Magic as well, this is a great free way to learn, super easy. I have not spent any money on packs in this game. You can buy them, but personally, all the gold that you earn, which is this currency in the top right, can get you packs and everything just by simply playing and doing daily quests. Today, we are going to be playing with the Crack the Case deck. Uh, if you are new as well playing this, any deck in here, you automatically get added into your deck list and you can play online in standard or any of the other game modes i'm not going to get into that there's a lot of them but we're going to be doing the crack the case because i really like this deck for the most part we'll see how many we win how many we lose it might be a little bit closer to lose but either way it should be a good time so if you guys end up enjoying this let's play even likes help out a whole ton and the more likes we get the more episodes and stuff like this i'll do i wanted to start with the starter decks though because it's the base and easiest way to uh start playing obviously because it's in the title starter deck and kurda thank you for the follow or for the sub there because i'm also using this same recording source as anything else that i do streaming and everything so sometimes you get a little easter egg you go first uh honestly looking at this here i probably could do a little bit better I have not been the type of person to know when I should mulligan yet, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep it and we're going to roll with it. Now, if you suggest that I should have mulligan there, let me know. But I think since we just got this one coming up next, we should be okay. We're going to throw this lonely one down again. Because it's a white and a blue card, so... And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of learning as we go here. I have played this deck a few times, but we'll see how, how we do. I'm going to throw down this detective. I always love these guys because this guy gives me lifelink. Or, well, he has lifelink and flying. Okay, Deep Fathom Echo. At the beginning of the combat on your turn... It explores, then you may have a copy, a copy of another card. Is that what it said? And I'm not going to lie, early on in playing Magic, you really just start out by throwing your lands down and then see what cards you have in your hand. And this is my first time recording a, a game of Magic, so I'm going to do my best to commentate while we're playing here. I'm going to go ahead and attack. That way we get gain some life there. Plus he's flying, so they can't even reach him anyways. It is nice though. I think the timer in this game does a pretty good job at it. Uh, man, I'm going to take a big hit. If I don't block it, I'm going to go ahead and block there. Much as I... Sometimes I just take the hits, but this time around... I'm just going to... Uh, play like that. I think that's our best bet. When it's turned face up, you may tap or untap target creature. Go ahead and put a word on this. So now at some point, I can click on this, flip it up, and then it'll allow me to do the tap or untap target creature, aka I could tap one of these guys, or if I already attacked, I could untap. This costs X more to cast for each target beyond the first. Choose any a number of target players, investigate at time, X times where X is the total number of creatures those players control. All right, I'm going to wait. And they can't reach it. I'm going to go for it just because I can get a little bit extra health. Plus one. But it's been a lot of fun getting into magic, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot going on between learning cards and 
trying out new decks in real life and online i'm probably gonna get absolutely destroyed here because it looks like it's coming in and it's coming in fast uh turn face up so i can turn this face up at any time what happens if i do this all right now this is a test if i tap both of these cards will they not attack anymore or will they remain tapped untap target creature yes wait so it stays tap okay so that's not what i expected but okay <laughs> well that's all part of the learning process here too like i said this is a let's play so i am learning while we play myself And sometimes action, action things like that can get a little bit confusing. I really only threw that down because that's the only card I could throw down besides this guy right here. But discard an instant sorcery card or a creature, uh, creature card when flying. We'll decline it. Thinking cap. Let's throw down this guy too. Oh, discard two cards. Honestly, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. And activate abilities of artifacts you control. One less to activate. This effect can reduce the mana and the cost. That costs to less than one mana. Drop this one, too. I have a feeling I shouldn't have dropped that one. But I wanted to play the private eye. So he gives everybody else plus one. And then we're gonna go ahead and attack with this guy, get some health back. Every time I play a green deck though, oh, of course. <laughs> I feel like every time I go up against a green deck, I get wrecked from it. And every time I play a green deck myself, I do horrible with it. But maybe it's still that just like learning phase. This is GG right here. I mean, I can block this, but I'm still going to take six damage. And the yeah, right, he had trampled too. Well, there's our first game. Now we are going to keep going because um, I feel like these are a lot of times are very hit or miss. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. And I think for most of these let's play videos while i play magic the gathering arena or mtg arena my goal is to have like three to five matches per video depending on how fast they go i mean if we get into a match that's like 15 20 minutes long i haven't really had that happen a whole lot but if we did then in that case yes i probably would end it a little bit faster go ahead and throw this novice Spectre out. He gets to investigate, which gives me this clue. Now he can sacrifice this artifact and draw a card. I do like this guy. I, I never actually read his name, but Projector Inspector, I do like that card a lot. The whole theme of this I thought was pretty cool. At one point, I made a uh, an entering and detective deck from the jump in game mode, which is the game mode where you, you spend about a thousand gold in game and you get two packs to open that have a theme to them and they combine together to make a deck. Now it's a, only a 40 card deck, but from there you can take those cards and make them into a 60 card deck which is standard uh the game mode that we're playing right now so the human detectives are always in there and i probably will do a video on trying that at some point because the, the jump in mode is i think a lot of fun now i'm going to decline to do that 
Uh, yeah, it's flying. I'll get extra health. And yes, if you are looking at it, the only money I have spent in this game, because I knew it was going to be a long-term thing, is for the Ezio outfit or look to him. And same thing with the... Uh, I'm going to take the two damage. Same thing with the deck. We have Connor here as my uh, sleeves. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, seasoned consultant gets plus two until the end of turn. Draw two cards and discard two cards unless it, you discard an instant or sorcery card or a creature card with flying. Take down this one. Exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard. Uh, you may control is faced up. You may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Sure. We'll take that one. Discard a card. No maximum hand size. I'm going to discard this one. Man, I never actually sat down and listened to the music here. But it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, let's see if they block this at all. I've been playing so much of this game off stream. It's uh, It's been a lot. I even played on my phone last night while watching a stream myself. And it was, uh, it was better than I expected. Now, I, I hate that on your phone you have to turn it sideways in order to play. I wish they had some sort of way to condense it on vertical for you to play um, vertically on your phone. But unfortunately, there's... Oh boy, there's a lot going on here. They're attacking. Okay. Oh, just that one. I don't have anything that can... Well, I could add these two and block by four, but I think I'd rather just take the two damage. It was higher, yes, but I think I'll take the two. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. You have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have drawn more than one card this turn, put an X counter on target creature you control. That one's pretty good. I remember playing that once before. And let's do this. Now we drew another card, and I think that'll activate this. Yep. Target creature you control gets plus one through this guy. And then I am actually going to attack with him again. Because he doesn't have anything to block flying. And I just gain health every time I attack with the perimeter enforcer. Oh boy. Aurelia the law above. <laughs> this might be the turning point. This may just be the turning point. Three, two. Okay, let's go with... I'll go with this. And this. At least get rid of two of them. I know we took a little bit more damage, but... It's okay. When he enters the battlefield, investigate. Create a colorless blue artifact with the draw. Investigate twice. Ooh, here we go. Ezrim, Agency Chief. Woo! <laughs> Activate ability. That'll give me this effect too. Now this guy has summoning sickness. I'm going to attack. He can go ahead and block with this one or take the hit himself. But... I don't know if attacking there was the best idea, but at least I got five health back. Okay, this match is going a little bit better than the last one. By the way, if you guys have any suggestions while doing this, feel free to let me know in the comments because 
I would like to do more of these, especially short little sessions, like 30, 45 minutes ish of either magic. I'm also planning on doing one for Marvel Snap, which is another card game. I would like to do more videos of these for, cause videos are going to be more of like a my time or like trialing stuff. Live streams is more of a thing where I'm playing with the community and chat and everything seeing what they uh like engaging with them a lot of these video formats are more so on something that i'm interested in and if i'm playing it i might as well do a video on it, even if it gets no views or anything throw down that land they can accept the damage does one damage to target player. Okay. When it's turned faced up, exile another target non-land permanent. If you control it, return it to the battlefield tap. Otherwise, its controller creates a two, two white and blue detective creature token. I think I'm going to throw this guy down. Alquist Prof. Master Sleuth. I did actually buy one of these, uh, this expansions set. Now I didn't do a booster box, but I bought a bundle. So I will be doing an unboxing of that. It was on sale for like 30 bucks. So I figured I'd at least try it. Draw another card. Will it let me put a, another token? It's go with this guy let's hit it I'm just gonna go all out I don't know I mean he can block the 7-7 seven, seven, which he will probably with his flying or they will yep the 5 is still gonna hit and then he'll do some damage next turn, but I mean, I don't know. These games can be so hit or miss. He's going to do what? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine damage to me, but I still healed some. So. Oh, of course. <laughs> Bone Horde Dracosaur. My first few videos of this type of Let's Play, though, will mainly be that uh, sacrifice a clue you draw. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think either way. Okay. They conceded. Good game. Victory. Nice. Not bad. Okay, I got it. A victory in my second game. You don't know how many times I've already lost while playing this. It's been an insane amount. And just from that, you can see second game, we've got a lot of cards from it and rewards. So Lord Skitter's Blessing. Create tokens. Now, if we get a third win, we get this mysterious or mystery cosmetic. All right, let's go in for another one then. We go again. But I'm not sure the first few Let's Play videos of this, I might just end up doing uh, starter decks and then eventually break into drafting and then also break into uh, probably crafting my own decks or jump in mode. Jump in mode has, like I said, been my favorite game mode yet. So let's see what we got here. Let's throw down an island. And I'll hold for there. For now, I could throw down the thinking cap, but... They were playing against a green deck. Throw down that. When it is turned face up, exile another target creature or non-land. How much do you need to ward it? I think... You need three? All right, we're going to hold. Hold. 
Oh, I know this deck that they're using. I was using this one for one of the challenges that I had. There's weekly challenges that you get, which if you play Magic, then you already know all this, but you never know. Draw a card, sure. Discard a card. I kind of want to get rid of the elephant. Magnifying glass. I'll hold on to. Yeah. Elephant cleric. All right, well, so yeah, we'll discard the elephant. Because I like these. I haven't really used the magnifying glass, so that will be interesting. But this whole detectives deck has been way cooler than I was expecting it to be. And I, I've really enjoyed playing with these, these cards. All right, let's throw down this guy. Hopefully they don't get it this time. And yeah, I'll even equip it to him just for the sake of doing it. So we gave him the thinking cap, which gives him plus one, plus two. Now he's a two, three. Now they're creating all these food tokens, which makes me a little nervous because they can just keep eating them and healing themselves. Because I've also done this, used this deck before. Three, two, two, three. Oh, yeah, why don't I? Wait. Uh, now nah, I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to take the hit. Because they won't be able to block this the next turn. And I'm just going to heal it back. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Unless you can... Uh... Yeah, let's do this one. Exile that. Beautiful. Go to combat. Get some health back. Fantastic. I don't know. This match is going to be... I have a feeling they're going to throw out a lot of mana here and then be able to cast a very high creature spell like green decks do. Mosswood Dread Knight. By the way, if I'm moving too fast with any of these cards or if I'm not going fast enough or whatever it is, feel free to let me know. I am kind of just doing this randomly off the, uh, with, with no expectation at all. Just decided to pick it up and, and do this. So, and put out a video. So, uh, whenever you sacrifice a food, let's get rid of this guy. Took a little bit. I don't know about this one. Might be a tough one. We'll play this guy. Ooh. It's guarded an instant or sorcery card or creature card with flying. Let's guard this one. We're gonna attack and get some health back. 12 and 12, not bad. Now once Steam Core is ready next turn, I can attack with him too, because he has Vigilance, which attacking doesn't cause the, uh, the creature to tap. Now we're gonna get a, we're gonna take a lot of rat hits here though. <laughs> if the, I'm surprised they're not attacking. They can't even block, like why not? They're just gonna, unless if they're gonna use them for something else. Yeah, probably shouldn't. That's okay. Um, sure. We'll do that. And then three, two. I'll take the rest. It's gonna be close there, but that's fine. Investigate twice. Okay, 
Sacrifice an artifact, gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, or Hexproof until end of turn. I can't use them this turn though, unfortunately. We're gonna go with this. Three, four. Yeah, let's just attack two. Seven and seven. Oh boy. And the only reason I'm still attacking with perimeter enforcers is because he has a lifelink, so it heals. Now there might be a better way of doing this, but with what I what I know, that's how I played it. So, <laughs> oh god, I've seen the that guy before. We're gonna pass. Would well, still ask me for declaring blockers. Oh, oh, let me just make sure it does. Okay. We gotta block the heavy hitters here. So let's go. Honestly, we won't need this guy. We won't need this one. And I'll take three. Woo! Close. Come on. Enters the battlefield, return up to one target creature to its owner's hand. If you control it, investigate. Honestly, I might return this back to, oh no, never mind. Not. Let's return this guy back to his hand. I'm going to be able to do five damage. No. Dude. I'm going to hold. I could go for it, but I'm going to hold. All right. They're just going to have to play that again. Create a food token. Okay. That's fine. I really got to use these clues next turn. If I got perimeter enforcer up a little bit higher, we would have been fine. But I'm at two health. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to defend. Even if I defend everything, if his two rats, that's uh, GG. Yeah, I was going to say, if he attacks everything, there's nothing I can because even as two rats are gonna kill me. Good game. We'll just take, take the hits. There it is. One more turn, and I think I would have had it there, but sometimes that's the name of the game. Sometimes that's just how it goes. All right, let's go again. Probably got one or two more matches in me for this video. And again, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving likes help out a whole lot. So I appreciate it either way. I also did an unboxing of Assassin's Creed. Collector's Booster, I've also done one for, I just recorded one for the Beyond Booster for Assassin's Creed. I did the bundle for Assassin's Creed. We got Bloomborough coming up. I'm gonna be doing a bundle for, I also wanna cover that in the game here too because those are actually coming to the game which i'm excited for draw a card yes. I'm doing this every time. hopefully he doesn't destroy that or they don't destroy that but i guess we'll see playing quick they're playing fast all right we're throwing this guy down Keep getting Ezrim a lot. Nah, I'll take it. I'll take the hit. We're just gonna heal it up soon, hopefully. Ooh. Okay. Let's go with, whenever you draw your second card, Jada loses defender and gains vigilance until end of turn. Go with this. 
I love that every time a new detective enters the field. <laughs> Discard a card. Okay. Attack. Take the hit. Heal back three. They're playing a blue and black deck. Oh no. It's stunned for two turns. <laughs> Wait, what is that card? That's cute. That's cute. Two. Mill four cards. Then put in instant. Jeez. All right. Hey, I'll take it. I will gladly take that one. That's another reward right there to claim. That's three wins. Let's see, we got Bridled Bighorn. And he makes a sheep token. Saddle cards are interesting too. All right, we'll go for, uh, we'll go at least one more. See how fast this next one goes. For cracking the case. That one was fast. Yeah, I never realized how many different, like, card sleeves there are and even characters that people can get. I saw somebody was playing with Asterion at one point, too. I should have thrown down this guy first and then that guy. That's All right, now we're throwing down the planes and this. Attack. Just for one. Might as well hit him with one. They got nothing on the field yet. All right, I think I know which one they're using. So if it's red and, and black, it's probably the, the food deck that we played earlier. Throw down the planes. The one thing that I do love about playing this game too is you don't really have to worry about miss. I mean, yes, you can misplay actions and stuff. Like you can incorrectly uh, choose one card where another card might be better in that scenario. But the thing that I love about playing MTG Arena is everything resolves correctly that's unfortunate but in a real life scenario you play a card and then you have to correctly keep track of adding any counters onto it and some of that i mean even in the little the few matches that me and my wife have played some of that can get very confusing at times and then you forget about one thing and another and it gets yes be a lot but either way uh, i'm not gonna... lost my best card there unfortunately but in arena here everything just plays out as it's as it's supposed to which is nice i like the uh music they got going on in this area <laughs> All right, yeah, I think I might go with this defender. A three, two. Jaded analyst. I also love that if you right click cards, you can get the close up artwork of them. All right, this time around might actually play this card. Let's go. Let's do it. We'll place it as a ward. And then I might even do this. When it's turned faced up, exile a target. Uh, a target non-land permanent. If you control it, return to the battlefield tap. Otherwise, it's controller creates a 2-2 two, two white and blue detective creature token. 
I'm gonna turn it face up. I'm gonna do it on novice inspector. And then it investigates. Then now we can back with this. So if I did it to somebody on the other side, they would get a white and blue detective creature token instead. From my understanding? I don't know. Kind of confused on that card. But. Or if I just canceled it. Of course. <laughs> they wanted to keep those uh, food tokens coming. Yeah, and every time they do that, they get the rat. So they're doing any leftover mana that they had. I get it. Draw a card. Let's throw this guy down. I'll activate this one. Hmm. Hmm. No attacks. Not this turn. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, okay. They're probably going to do the same thing. I have a feeling if I block again, they're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I'll block against one of these guys. Wait, I could have blocked against... Dude. Yep, I had a feeling. Okay, they're still going to die, though. They're going to do five damage. Turn other, one other, okay. Uh, we'll take this one. And this. Can't block. Two, three, I'm gonna attack with this one. Go ahead and block it. One for one, nice. What is that face? <laughs> she looks so upset. I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who you are. Assassin Trophy. Search library for a basic land card. Sure. Oh, look at that. Basic land card. When it dies, investigate. Nice. We got a clue. Oh boy. They're about to create so many food tokens. Okay. Return one other when it enters. Both of these, all these are enter the battlefield. So I'm going to hold. And then let's draw a card. Target detector, uh, whenever you draw your second card each turn, target detective can't be blocked each turn. Let's do this. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes. That's so good, dude. That's amazing. I'm gonna just go for it. Take the hit. Yeah, profit or profs. Eat, edit, edit, eat. edit. <laughs> profs memory. I love that card. I wish I got it sooner. 
Oh boy. Might be uh, GG any second here. Oh god. They have so many rats. Wow, they didn't attack with that's surprising. But yeah, if I make them go back to their hand, they're just it's just gonna be that. Wait. Choose any number of turret players. Investigate where X is the total number of creatures those players control. Commit one. Oh, 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 oh boy. This one can't be blocked. Draw a card. Want to go for that? Twelve. Oh boy. This is. I don't know. This one's gonna be close here. I have a feeling they're gonna come out and just destroy me any second, and then I don't know. If I get another play like that, like there's a good chance that we could potentially end it. But they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna hit me with a lot of rats here. Oh boy. Okay. They're going all the ones. I'm not gonna block at all. Okay. Let's see, this enters the battlefield. Gonna have summoning sickness, but. Investigate twice. Go clue. Yep. Nice. There it is. I was nervous about that one. That was that was an, yet another game where it was gonna be like hand in hand where I uh, either they could have came out on top next turn or somehow, some way we, we pulled through. So not too bad right there. Not too bad at all. As always, though, if you guys ended up enjoying this, leaving likes really help out a whole lot. Sorry about the messy beginning here, but it was fun. Um, I'm hoping to do some more of these. I don't know if I'll do it back to back with this video, but we're going to probably put out some more magic stuff because I've been having fun. And I'm also going to do some uh, Marvel Snap. So for now, that's it. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.